Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm coming to do my Pachakucha. I don't know if I pronounce it right. Uh, when I proposed it, I hadn't thought I would do it for such big an audience, so well, uh, abide with me. You can start. So, I'm Inge. Uh, I'm working in Agile in the Core, which is the coaching branch of uh, Sejeka. Uh, and I want to talk to you about the facilitation game labs I've been organizing now for some time uh, at Seheka in Belgium. And here I'm saying I, not we, <laughs> for the women in the room. So, uh, some uh, time ago, last year, we followed a training by Ari van Bennekem on facilitating Agile. And I think those who went to the talk of Svetlana also heard about facilitation techniques. So we learned a lot, but we said, okay, we want to have our playground to experiment more with this. Not that that's new, eh? you know, the Agile Game Nights or the Agile Game Labs in Berlin. There were people from Berlin here. And you have Play 14, which was uh, in March in uh, Luxembourg and will be going on in September, I think, in London. Uh, so, nothing new under the sun, but we gave it a little twist because, well, we call it facilitation Game Labs and not Agile Game Labs. First, because we use the word Agile much too often. The other thing is that's about facilitation. We are not doing agile games only. We're doing every type of format. We can use in every type of situation, in workshops and trainings, when we need it. So facilitation, yeah, facilitation is helping a group to reach their objective, mobilize them, give them an insight while the facilitator stays neutral, okay? And we have all formats that can help us there, so we want to use them. And playing is one of them. I'm feeling very young because I like to play. I like to play. I'm going having Scrabble nights. Uh, I like playing, uh, what is it? Uh, whatever. Uh, I like playing things and playing has great thing. It is fun, but you also learn something. It keeps you mentally fit, okay? And gamification is everywhere. Just last Monday, I heard on the radio a pedagogue telling, well, when we should reward children for good behavior, do it with gamification. Give them stars or flowers and stop giving them sweets or something. This is also an example of gamification. I don't know if you know it. The stairs are made in a piano and people started using them instead of the elevator. And we have gamification in everything we do. Eh? Like a scrum board is like a goose board. And if you do something wrong, you go back to jail. Uh, it takes us some time perhaps to see it. This is the scrum board uh, my colleague made for his vacations and his girls already asked, can we do this game next year, okay? So it's also a lab. Uh, it's a place to feel safe, to experiment. So we do also evaluation and we do it in a gaming fashion. So this is the result of a silent mind map we had at the uh, end of one of our facilitation game labs uh, last year. So. It's not only the people who follow the course who do it, we invite everyone. Most of the time, it's Agilistas that come there. I hope and I'm really working to get people from outside of Agile in our business there so that we can learn even more from what they are doing. So, how do we do it? Well, it's really simple. We organize our game labs, three hours a night, uh, and the rule is whoever proposes a game format also facilitates the tryout. So, you come, you facilitate, and uh, so we do it now five times a year, uh, not during the holidays, every two months. We have our backlog, which is a simple Google document shared by those who want to facilitate, and we have gaming formats that take long time, take short time, so I, as an organizer, what I have to do, next game lab is coming up, I see who is coming, I pick out formats, some long, some short, and we make an agenda. So, what have we done already? Well, where do you live? Didn't we do that two years ago in Bucharest? People standing, where do you live? Um, uh, introducing yourself by way of your keyring. Very interesting. Or uh, some games like uh, a Mibi fence game, which is kind of a team building game because you have to get over this fence. But we also do board games. You know Hanabi? Hanabi is great. It's a cooperative game where the team can only win if you good, give good uh, tips to your co-players. 
or Dixit, which really raises your creativity and lets you learn how your teammates are thinking. And of course, we do agile games. We did the Kanban pizza game, uh, the Robo Rally, the product owner game, and the team drawer game, which was a starter to, play, uh, to explain Kenefin. Yes, David Snowden is there as well. But uh, what we learned is we need guinea pigs. Because if you do agile games with agile experts or facilitation games with great facilitators, they don't work that well. So next time we will invite the newbies in our company and come, so it's a win-win. They will learn something and we get feedback on the for better feedback on the format. So that's one of the things we'll do. The other is look over the fence. Go and look in the social sector and see what they have. I, for once, was looking for a format to uh, give people an insight in uh, cultural differences. I talked to my daughter and she said, oh, I have three formats from my uh, experience as a youth leader. She had them for me. I just could take them. And the last one is make it worthwhile for those that come. So food and beer are in order. My only problem is to find a caterer which gives affordable food that is more than sandwiches and pizza. Because, well, it stays the same. So what is next? Next is that we want to share much more. So uh, I'm working on a website where we will expose uh, our backlog, where we will uh, post our findings. And I'm dreaming of a kind of search list in which you can find uh, a game or a format for every uh, yeah, use you need or for every situation. So then, it's up to all you, uh, and not only who we were in the picture two days ago. Try it out. Tell me uh, what about your experience. We could be two containers working together, okay? And uh, if you need any help, you know where to find me.